Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, and today we're actually going to do a little bit of a different video than we usually do. So usually we're going into maps and telling you guys the best team compositions, what brawler is good where, you know, what's good where, stuff like that, what's a good map to grind on, etc, etc. But today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to go over here and trying out this new feature. So you know when you click on a brawler and now there's this new try option, you can go into like just a random game full of bots and called the training cave and you can see you know your damage per second and stuff like that with a brawler you can see what brawler is effective against ranged brawlers like this what brawlers are effective against tanks like this and basically what we did is we went all the way up over here and we sit we checked what brawler has the most damage per second so for some brawlers we use the super like tara because that optimizes her damage per second but for others like jesse or for anita we didn't really use it so what we're going to do is we're going to rank the brawlers from least to greatest from what does the least damage per second to the most damage per second in the game. So without further ado, let's start it up with our lowest brawler. The brawler that we're going to have lowest today is going to be Pam. Now what you can do with Pam is you can basically just go up to, to the bots and there's not much I can do because she doesn't have pierce, she doesn't have much. You can basically get as close as possible and just spray him down, do as much as you can. And at maximum, I played around with it. For about five minutes per brawler and the max you can do is about 3100 if you're just hitting these bots now you could probably do a little bit more if you're aiming for that bigger one but all we're going to be doing today is going for the these smaller ones so coming in at last with about 3100 per second we got my girl pam now coming in at number 23 we got the one and only Jean. Now, although Jean is super strong in like competitive Brawl Stars, like you're going to see him in a bunch of competitive modes and stuff like that, he's not going to be able to do too much in here. Now, there's zero shot delay here, so you're able to do a lot of damage. Well, you're not not a lot. So you're able to get three Jean shots off, uh, three shots off with Jean fast. So he does 1,400 at max level per shot. So you can hit them really quickly and you can do 4,200 damage per second. Now this is super low and although Gene is a super strong brawler because of his pull ability, you're only able to do so much damage and thus he is the second lowest damage per second brawler in the game. Now this one might come as a little bit of a shock to you guys, but the third lowest is actually Leon. Now Leon being one of the strongest brawlers for a super long time now actually doesn't do that much damage at all. Now you can basically spray these guys down pretty fast so we can go through here and we can hit like 4700 I think was the highest it might have been 4500 but all you can do is basically just run through these guys single fire you just auto aim as fast as you can you can hit about 4500 I hit like 48 right there that's actually pretty impressive that I did that I didn't realize you can do that but yeah that still would leave him as the third lowest brawler he again he doesn't have any pierce damage you know he the bots are pretty weak so you can't do much and yeah that's the third lowest DPS brawler in Brawl Stars now coming in at spot number 21, we got the boy Daryl. Now Daryl actually, you can do a few different things for, with Daryl. So for example, you can go up over here and you kind of just like spray as fast as you can. You can get like 4,100 damage. Or another thing you can do is just roll on top of people, spray, roll on top of people. And when they're fully charged up, you can do a maximum of 5,000 damage. Now you could probably do a little bit more. You can probably get the angles right. I wasn't being like too, I wasn't spending too much time on each brawler, but the highest I got was 5,000 with Daryl, and that's gonna give him the number 21 position. Now coming in at number 20, we got the big boy bull. So again, just like Daryl, there's two different things you can do. You can just walk around and one shot people, and you can do about 7,000 damage if you do so. But another thing you can do is you could just go like this and charge through people. Now this isn't as effective as the other one as it takes a while so your damage per second won't be very high because you're spending a lot of time dashing through. So this is going to leave him at number 20 with about 7,000 damage per second. So coming in at number 19, we're going to have the boy Crow. Now Crow, being another legendary brawler low on the DPS list, this is actually pretty surprising. And you can actually do a lot with his jump, but that's about it. So we're just going to get our super. We're going to wait for our damage per second to get down to zero. It's just going to take a little bit because of the uh, because of the poison. But we're basically just going to jump one robot to the next, spray, jump one robot to the next. And you basically can cap off at about 7,000 damage. I think it was a bit more, sorry. We just like, yeah, 7,600 damage is what you can cap off at. So it's not bad. It's definitely more than I would have imagined when I just picked him up. But yeah, that is going to give him the number 19 position for the most damage per second. Now this might come off as a shocker, but right now at the number 18 position, we got Spike. Now, if you think about it, we got the three legendary brawlers in the bottom half, like the bottom quarter of the list basically. So what you can do with Spike is you just throw your super over here. You can hit, get your super, get your super, basically do that. And then you can do about 10,000 
just like a little bit above 10,000 damage per second. Now this isn't that bad, but you know, it's not too great compared to the other brawlers that we're gonna have later on. So thus, for this legendary brawler, the most high DPS brawler that we have, for the legendaries at least, is gonna be at rank number 18, and it is going to be Spike. Now coming in at number 17, we got our girl, Jesse. Now Jesse isn't bad, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw a turret right over here, and then we're just gonna start spraying, basically. So Jesse, I forgot what the max was. Let's see, we're gonna spray real quick. Jesse can do a little bit above 10,000, but I have to get it properly. I won't be able to do it now. It was really tough to do. I forgot exactly how it was done, but I did get 10,000. I have it all jotted down in a Google document. Um, this is going to be one of the early on actually common brawlers. Most common brawlers actually do a lot of damage, the, the lowest one being Bull, which does a lot of damage if you're playing an actual game, just not from like up, just not compared to these 25 little robot things standing right here. But with that being said, Jesse's going to be ranked number 17 out of the 24 brawlers. Let's hop right on to number 16. So coming in at number 16, we got my girl Penny. Now Penny has a pretty low damage per second. She's kind of in the middle now and it caps off at basically 10,500. So what you're going to do is shoot one here, shoot one, shoot one. So let's show you guys real quick. One, two, three. So it actually capped off a little bit better than I thought. It does about 1,200 at tops. Now everyone, I'm sure with every brawler that I do, you can actually do more. But I wasn't going to play it forever. Yeah, so you can do about 13 at the top with this. And that's going to give it the number 16 position just based on the averages of what I did earlier. So Penny, number 16, right kind of in that middle for the highest DPS brawlers. Let's head right on to number 15. So here at number 15, we got none other than Ricochet. Now Ricochet does do a good amount of damage if you're using his super and if you're doing it correctly. Now it's pretty hard to actually do too much DPS with Rico. Let's see if I can show you guys Optimum over here. You can cap it off at kind of mid 1300s. Damn, I wasn't able to do it. It's pretty difficult to be able to do it properly. But yeah, that's going to be Rico. That's, he's going to backs off at like 1300, only a tiny, tiny bit above Penny when I was doing the averages. But yeah, that is going to be Rico. That's going to be our number 15 brawler. Let's head right on to number 14. So coming in at number 14, we got the poster boy for Brawl Stars. We got the homie Colt. Now it's very funny because I feel like every tier list every just list in general Rico and Cole are always right beside each other I don't know why maybe because they're like kind of the same type of brawler but basically with Cole what you're gonna do is just gonna line up your super and just walk to the side like so I know it's really fast and you can barely see it but when you slow it down the DPS caps off at about 1200 per second and yeah that's gonna leave him at the number 14 position and let's hop into number 13 so coming in at number 13, we got the homie, we got El Primo. So basically what you're going to want to do with Primo is you're just going to jump kind of like a leapfrog. You're just going to jump on these guys over here, jump on these guys over here, jump on these guys over here, and you could actually cap it off at 14,610 damage per second if you get that second jump in within the first second, which is going to leave him at number 13. Now this is pretty hard to do, I will admit. When uh, There you go, we got 14,440. It's not yet 1400, 460, or 1400, 610, but that's what we're going to do for this recording. At least I don't want to spend too much time recording this video because I'm super busy today. But this is going to give Primo the number 13 spot. Let's head into the next brawler, number 12, which is going to be the right smack middle of our list. So coming in at number 12, we got Brock today. Now Brock, this did surprise me a little bit because he is single fire, but with his super, he does a ton of damage. Basically, you're going to shoot once right in the middle like so and then you're gonna super and let's see what we can get yeah we got up there it actually went up to now i did some averages this is if you're kind of like cheating where you're shooting in between and then doing this because then you get a lot of higher damage per second but basically what you're supposed to get is about 14,650 with brock now this is super super good and this leaves him pretty high he's right in the smack middle you know you're gonna see a lot of common brawlers here now i actually think it's super weird how legendary brawlers spike crow and leon are number 18 19 and 22 and then you have some brawlers like brock nita shelly colt bull jesse who are the common brawlers who are actually way higher up on the damage per second list so it kind of shows you how relevant damage per second is for brawlers but at the same time you know it's a cool stat to look at and let's go ahead and finish our list and head on to number 11.
So at number 11, we got the poster girl, I guess you could say, for Brawl Stars. We got Shelly. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your super. We're going to let the damage per second reset. We're going to super right up here and then super right back there and we get our super. So one. Oh, we missed it over there. We're going to have to wait for them to reset. We might actually have to just kill them all over here. That was a big fail. Big blooper over there. Okay, so basically super here super there and then you can basically get as high as 16,000 now it's really hard to do you have to line it up pretty well it's tough to do on a consistent basis that's what she's going to kind of average out and top out at um and yeah it's going to give her the number 11 spot so coming in at number 10 and this was actually my winning pick who i thought was going to be number one at the start we got carl now carl um, I'm a little surprised about it, just because I thought you can pierce and then use your spin and go in really hard, but he's actually only going to be number 10. So basically what you're going to want to do is super right over here. When you let go of your, or shoot your shot over here, when you let go of your shot, you're just going to super and rush to the right. So, bam. I don't know if you guys saw, but the very highest I got was 16,500 if you slow it down. Um, yeah, I thought he was going to be first. I'm really surprised he's actually not first. But that is going to be the number 10 brawler on our list. Let's get into number 9. Now number 9, my opinion for the most overpowered competitive Brawl Stars brawler in the game, we got none other than Nita. Now the reason I think Nita's so strong is just because she's so good at just about everything. She doesn't lack anywhere and she actually strives in most places. So we're, what we're going to do is we're just going to shoot twice forward, just like this. I'll show you guys. 3, 2, 1. And then we got 16,576. That's what you're gonna cap out at, and that's what you're gonna get every time. I'll show you guys again. Oh, we actually missed these brawlers over here, but that's what you would have gotten if you would have hit it. So that's gonna give Nita the number nine spot. Let's hop right into number eight. Now at number eight, we actually got Poco. Now Poco is actually really surprising because he is a healing brawler. You know, he's not supposed to do that much damage. But because of his pierce, he can actually do a ton. So basically what we're going to do is just stand right over here and walk forward. So we capped out at about 1600 and uh, 16,700. I got The highest I got was 16,800. So that's going to be the highest we're going to get with Poco. Let's see if I can get it real quick here. I don't think I'll be able to. Oh, we actually got above that. We got 1700. Wow. Or 17,000. I don't know why I keep saying 100. Uh, yeah, but that would still keep him in the number 8 spot right behind number seven that's gonna be poco which again is super surprising because he is a healing brawler but let's get into number seven and this one actually kind of shocked me a little bit so coming in at number seven we got none other than barley so let's just charge our super over here Basically, with barley what you're gonna to want to do is throw your super right over here and then lob the other side that you're not supering so we're gonna throw our super then we're gonna put this down over here and we're not gonna to do too much this time because we missed three bots but you can get all of them and i actually got a high a high of 17,800 now this is crazy for barley because I thought he would be way worse than this let's see if I can do this no I wasn't able to get them but yeah we got 17,800 with barley he on average and on his high does better than Poco thus he's going to be the number seven over the eight Poco but this was the this was the closest that we got between two brawlers so that's crazy close these guys actually both heal themselves if you get hit with barley I'll show you guys real quick like so, like so you can heal 300 per shot so i find it really really weird that two healers are actually in the top 10 for damage per second but with that being said let's hop into number six which is also a huge surprise for myself so coming in at number six we got bow so basically with bow it's not just his natural shots as you guys would probably expect is it doesn't do too much damage you're basically just going to throw your super right in the middle of them the super is going to go off and then you're just going to start shooting and I've actually capped at 20,244. I did about 18,000 just there. Maybe we can cap it. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. No, I don't think we will be able to. Yeah, but we did get above 20,000 with him. This is going to give him the top six and be the sixth highest damage per second brawler in the game. Let's hop into number five and I'll show you guys the top five now. So coming in at number five and rounding our top five, we got none other than the boy Frank. Now Frank, oh, I can't believe I just missed a bot that wasn't moving. Um, Frank is actually really interesting. At first I thought if you were to super, you'd get the most damage per second. But these guys are all one shot to your super and your animation just takes longer. So what we're going to do is stand right in the middle and then shoot a, a bottom left and then top left. Oh, that didn't work that well. Okay, let's try and reset that. We got higher before. 
which is why that kind of just confused me. There we go, yeah. So we got just above 20,000 there. It was really hard to see, but if you slow it down, you are gonna be able to see we got above 20,000 damage per second. This is gonna give Frank the number five spot. Just to show you guys, the super just takes a little bit long to do it with. You can get a bit more range, but it's not possible to get higher. At least from what I've checked, if I'm wrong, you can correct me in my comment section below. But that is gonna be the number five spot for Frank. Now coming in at number four, another huge shocker. It actually recently got buffed, which allowed her to do this. We got my girl Piper. Now Piper is actually not that bad at this. I thought she'd be pretty bad. I thought it would just be like high 30, uh, 30, 3, 3,000s because of her shots. But if you go right in the middle and you just super somewhere to the side, you're gonna get above 20,000 if you do it correctly. Now I capped out at 21,420 and her average was about 1,800. But yeah, if they're all live, all in a set positions, and your bombs don't cluster right beside each other, you are going to get a very, very high number, and this is gonna give her the number four spot on the list. Now, let's hop into the top three. Coming in at number three, we actually got another surprise. We got Mortis. Now, Mortis, I didn't think would be high, and it's another brawler that can heal himself. So it's super interesting how these healers have high DPS, but basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is just gonna to wanna to super these guys over here and then dash. So let's show you. Yeah, so we got, we messed it up a little bit there, but you get about, it's so fun just like trade, uh, getting these supers and training them, but the highest I got was 23,900, let's see if I can top it, it's so difficult, let's try one more time, get it this time, no, we're not going to do that much, but anyways, I capped off at 23,900 when I slowed it down when recording before, and this is going to give us the third highest, and actually the second highest average, but the third top when it comes to damage per second. Now coming in at the number two position, which is actually what I guess she would be beforehand, we got Tara. Now Tara, which I thought it would be number one to uh, give number one to Carl, which is actually clearly wrong because Carl got number 10, is going to be the number two spot here. So obviously what you're gonna do is just gonna charge your super and you can get every single robot except for like five or six, I think. It's super hard to get all of them over here, but basically you just suck them all. And you got right there, I got 22,456. 22, we capped off at 24,164. And if you wanna do a little bit of cheating, what you can do is you can break this wall right over here like so. Just break that wall and slowly drag this king bot towards the middle over here. And that'll actually give you like a 40,000 damage per second if you're using it all correctly. I, Ark actually had a tweet about that, so if you guys want to check it out, check out Ark's Twitter. But yeah, that's going to be the number two on our list. And here comes number one, which was a huge shocker for me. And I didn't even realize it until I did it. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. But it didn't cross my mind for a second. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the number one damage per second brawler in the game. We have none other than Chef Dynamite. Now, obviously, Chef Dynamite doesn't do extra damage, it's just Dynamite. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go right up over here, you're gonna super nine of the bots, and then you're gonna shoot your shots and just spread it out like so. So right here, I got 32,000. I think, what did I cap out? Let me look at my notes. I capped out at 34,104. You just basically get the eight over here, or the nine over there, and then you shoot your other shots around, and it's totally insane. He's first by a landslide, he's first by like 10, thousand and this is going to be the number one damage per second brawler in the game so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of statistical video versus what i usually do um you guys already know like comment and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video and if you didn't enjoy the video let me know in the comment section what you want to see me do but that is going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed i will be back tomorrow peace